Hi guys, uh, today I bring you Yalaha Alchemist Quarter Central. This is a, a low level hunting spot for 70 plus EK. And it's one of the great ones. It's a, it's really good experience here for a low level EK. So I highly recommend it. Um, looking at the results on level 70 plus, you can get about 550k uh, per hour raw experience, which is, you know, somewhere around over 800k per hour um, on 150%, which is great. You know, it's really great at this level. And the loot you can expect is, you know, nothing really. It's it's not going to be profitable. But as as is the case with all low level EK videos, all you care about is the great uh, experience so that you can get your higher level and then start making profits a bit later. So definitely not a very profitable spot, but the EXP is great and in my opinion makes up for it. Uh, difficulty, I actually give it a pretty high difficulty rating as far as low level hunting grounds go because you will be killing a few nightmares here with nightmare scions. Um, and you know you only have about a thousand health this place can get a little bit difficult in places so you, you should be careful uh you should definitely be avoiding you know having like free nightmares on you should be avoiding the plague smiths down here um because you know they can they can hit a lot but uh in general it's not it's not too bad you know if you're just mostly focusing on the bog raiders and the nightmare scions it's not too bad uh with regards to the beast cherry it'll take about two and a half hours for the bog raider beast cherry and well everything else i probably wouldn't recommend doing uh moving on for the requirements and notes i recommend level 70 plus uh, as well as you will need access to yalaha um and i recommend getting the alchemist gate unlocked i think that's three or four missions of the in service of yalaha questline just to have quicker access to the spawn uh, you also need your best two-handed physical weapon with three imbue slots uh, because we're using full imbuements. And this place, in my opinion, can effectively only hunt be by uh, knights. Uh, of course, I'm sure it can be hunted by paladins and mages solo as well, but it's just not going to be very great. I, I wouldn't really recommend it. So I think knight is pretty much the only uh, vocation that can hunt here with any semblance of effectiveness, let's say. Um, and for the imbuements, praise equipment, all standard imbues, like I always say, on a low level EK, you need those five powerful imbuements, and you, you should prioritize physical protection with your plus skill gear. With regards to supplies, um, it's about 600 strong mana potions per hour. Uh, these are my results from 15 minutes, so yeah, about 600 per hour. I wasn't using any strong, uh, any health potions. You know, if you're level 80, you should bring a few great health potions. If you're level 50, you should bring a few strong health potions. Not too many. It shouldn't be too bad. Charms, obviously not applicable. Wheel, also not applicable. And the character you'll see in the video is a 71 level eco with 106 sword with loyalty. Now, before I take a quick look at the route, uh, just a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. That's Jadot, Kruce, Pashigu, Paput, Laskis, Javi, Exile, and Defect, Muzgu. Thank you very much, guys, for all of your support. Now, um... This is the place I'm talking about. This is very central in Alchemist Quarter when you go down to level zero from, you know, the plus one where all the blobs are. And basically, <clears throat> it's very hard to draw out uh, what you should be doing here. But basically, there are five caves, let's say. One, two, three, four, five that you go down and they all have a few levels like minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. And basically, what I do when I hunt here is I go as low as I can until I go into destroyers or plague smiths, okay? On a level 70 EK, you do not want to be killing destroyers or plague smiths. So if you see a destroyer or plague smith, you've gone too deep, go back out, go to the next cave, okay? And I basically just sort of go in a, you know, uh, counterclockwise rotation, just killing each of the caves. Also making sure to kill the surface because the surface has lots of bug raiders and death blobs. And that's it, that's basically it. Um, it's a totally dead respawn. I mean, I've like never seen anyone here. So uh, definitely a great place for low level EK. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I mean, I think it's it's really great experience. It gets you some beast cherries that are otherwise quite hard to get. So yeah, pretty great place overall. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think about this place. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.